Hello caterpillars. I'm taking a little walk um, along the slough, one of my favorite places, hoping that I see some uh, fish jumping out of the water, maybe another coyote. I saw a coyote a couple weeks ago. So few people have been out and about that the animals are venturing and I saw a baby coyote. Um, my first ever, so that was really special. Um, but I wanted to talk with you um, because if we were in school together today, um, we probably would be talking about this, um, about some of the things that are going on in the news that you might have heard grown-ups talking about. Um, and this sort of thing is kind of hard to talk about because um, it has to do with racism which means that um, how what it means to me is when you treat somebody differently or badly or unfairly because of their skin color. And so sometimes that's hard for people to talk about or grown-ups don't know how to talk with kids about it. But I think the more difficult and harder it is to talk about, the more important it is that we do talk about it. Because you guys know about um, skin color, You've studied your own skin color. Um, you know about fair and unfair. Um, so <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you a little bit about it um, and to share with you um, a, a little story and then a song. Um, and the story has to do with a time that I went to a place called Freedom Camp. And it's here in Portland and it's for kids ages six to um, teenagers, I think. And there was a bunch of five and six year olds and I learned about um, voting and how voting has affected um, people of color or blacks or African Americans. Um, and, and I was thinking about how we vote in our classroom. So when a bunch of, how do a bunch of people make one decision, when we have different ideas about it, we vote. And I was thinking about how it would feel if we had decided that certain people in our class couldn't vote because of the way they looked or their skin color. And I think we would all agree that was pretty unfair. And, and so in this freedom camp, we learned about the history of voting and how for a long time certain people weren't allowed to vote. And so they weren't allowed to practice democracy, which is where we all have a voice in how decisions are made in our communities. And so we talked about voting and how for a long time people of color um, and women too weren't allowed to vote and how people decided who was going to be able to have um, privileges or like let's say if we had a bunch of really cool materials and we were trying to decide who gets to play with them first how do we make those decisions and how would it feel if we decided that only people with white skin get to play with the materials first and then um, people who don't have white skin don't get to play with them or have to wait um, or the other way around it just wouldn't be fair and so my skin is white and I'm really trying to pay attention lately to how things um, are more fair for me sometimes because my skin is white. And trying to fight for um, equal justice for people of color. Because um, that's the world I want to live in. And right now a lot of people are super angry that the world is really unfair for people of color people who don't have white skin. Another thing that we talked about in Freedom Camp was a story about two little girls who marched in Birmingham, Alabama, um, a long time ago with Dr. Martin Luther King, who was a, a man who had an incredible way of talking about um, dreaming of a world where everybody was treated equally regardless of your skin color, regardless of whether you're a boy or a girl, regardless of whether your um, body is able to uh, move or you have different abilities with your body, 
regardless of your age, but especially based on your skin color. And that was for civil rights and the right for people of color to be allowed to vote. And they marched with Dr. Martin Luther King and these two little girls were so brave, but they wanted justice and they wanted to practice um, their democratic rights to um, protest, which means to say, this is not fair and we need to change this in a peaceful way. And so they got to go out and march and that's something that people do and have been doing in Portland the last few days a lot is marching coming together, organizing their communities. Like we have circle time. They have a big circle time for grown-ups and kids and, and white people and people of color to all come together and decide how they're going to make change for equality and equal rights and civil rights and, and to fight racism. And so in walking together, oftentimes people will sing songs to stay together and unified and to send their message out to the world. And I learned a song and I wanted to share it with you. And it's called, Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around from Marching for Freedom. And I'm gonna use a few different words. If we were in, in school today, I would have asked you what words you wanted to use. But since we're not, I'm gonna choose two words. I'm gonna choose unfairness and racism and it goes like this <clears throat> ain't gonna let nobody turn me round turn me round turn me round ain't gonna let nobody turn me round i'm gonna keep on a walking Keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. Ain't gonna let unfairness turn me round. Turn me round. Turn me round. Ain't gonna let unfairness turn me round. I'm gonna keep on a walking. Keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. Turn me round, turn me round. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me round. I'm gonna keep on a walking. Keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. And I'm gonna do racism. Ain't gonna let racism turn me round. Turn me round. Turn me round. Ain't gonna let racism turn me round. I'm gonna keep on a walking. Keep on a talking, marching up to freedom land. All right, well, let's keep marching forward as a force for good in the world. I love you guys. Bye.